morning, students. Today, we are going to talk about writing expressions and equations. Um, so I have abbreviated the title equations as this because I ran out of space to write the word. Um, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at English statements and we're going to be translating them into what it looks like as a math statement. And the math statement will either be in the form of an expression or an equation. And remember, an expression is something that just shows a statement of some sort of mathematical fact. An equation shows two expressions that are equivalent to each other and we use the equal sign. So if this is your second time watching the video, go ahead and pause to write down the English statements that are here. And now we're gonna look at them and write down what they look like as a math statement. So we have the first uh, problem, four less than a number. So when I look at um, the English statements, I'm kind of trying to decipher which word is gonna clue me what operation we're gonna need to use. Do we need to use addition, subtraction, multiplication, division? Do we need to use more than one operation? You know, what's going on? So less than is gonna mean subtraction. So I know that this is gonna be subtraction. Four less than a number means that I am going to be subtracting four from a number. And since they don't tell me what that number is, I am going to use a variable. In um, most of these cases, I'm just going to use N to represent my uh, variable because they keep saying a number and number starts with the letter N and X is a little bit overrated. We use it all the time to represent a variable. So let's use N. So four less than a number would be N minus four. Let's look at the second one, the difference of a number and four. So the key term here is difference, right? Difference is also going to mean subtraction. So am I going to get the same thing? I have a number and I have four again, but it says the difference of a number and four. So in this case, we have to remember n minus 4 and 4 minus n are not necessarily going to be the same thing. So when they tell us, you know, the difference, the product, the quotient, um, to figure out which number is going to go first and which is going to go second in the problem, we're going to follow the order that they write it in. So the difference of a number and the difference of a number and 4 is going to be n minus 4. A number and four. So these two end up being the same math statement, just written two different ways in English. And then let's talk about the last example. So this says the quotient of 11 and 66. Well, quotient is what we use to talk about division. And just kind of like before, they don't really give us an indication of what order <laughs> needs to go, what number needs to go first, what needs to go second. So we are going to follow the order that they write it in. So the quotient of 11 and 66 means 11 divided by 66. Now, if they said 66 divided by 11 in words, we would write it as the opposite, right? 66 divided by 11. Or if they said um, 66 split into 11 groups, that would be 66 divided by 11. But because they're saying the quotient of 11 and 66, we're going to follow the order that they write it in in English. So 11 divided by 66. Okay, now let's look at some equations. And if you remember, equations are going to have that equal sign involved. So if this is your second time watching the video, go ahead and pause so you can write down your three English statements that we are going to then translate into equations. Okay. So our first statement says a number is two more than 43. So if I look at kind of what vocabulary is going to help me decide if I'm adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing, more than is going to be the key. And when we think of something more than, we're going to be adding. So if a number is two more than 43, then I know that this part right here, two more than 43 is just going to be this two plus 43, or I could have written it as, you know, 43 plus two, either one of those is fine, but it says a number is, so we're just going to use N to represent our number. This word is, is kind of the key to help you understand that it's an equation. It's going to be equal to. So a number is two more than 43 is N, the number is equal to two plus 43, or you could say N is equal to four plus, or sorry, 43 plus two. So either one of those equations mean the same thing. Let's look at the second example. A number is twice as large as 60. So here we go again. A number is, that is going to be N equals, right? We said is is equivalent to equals, is twice as large 
as 60. So if I have the number 60, if I want to represent with math something twice as large, that just means I need to duplicate it, right? Or double it. And the way that I could double it is I could either write plus 60 again. Um, but because they use this term twice, another way to represent that 60 plus 60 is two times 60. So I can just write it as multiplication. So N is equivalent to two times 60. I just use the parentheses to show multiplication. You could have used the dot, the asterisk, um, whatever. Uh, except the X. We don't want to use the X symbol for multiplication um, when we have variables. So a number is twice as large as 60 is N is equivalent to two times 60. Okay, let's look at the last example. We're going to use X this time for our variable. So it says X less than 15 is five. So is five is going to mean equals five. So it's saying some number X less than 15 is five. So we need to determine Less than before told us up at the top of our notes that that's subtraction. So we have to determine, is it going to be X minus 15 or 15 minus X? It's saying X less than 15. So that means that X is going to be subtracted from 15. So 15 minus X is equivalent to five. And here we have this equation now set up in the proper order. So the key when you are looking at expressions and equations is looking at what is the vocabulary that is going to tell you what operation you need to use. If these statements have the word is involved in it, you can assume that they are going to be equations rather than expressions. And then you kind of have to double check your reading on the order of uh, where your numbers and your variables might go. And if they don't really give you an indication, like this one gave us an indication less than 15. So we're taking away from 15 versus up here. They just said the difference of two things or the quotient of two things. If they don't really give you that like specific indication by using less than, greater than, so forth, you just follow the order that it's written. So a number, or in this case, 11, went first. Then the second piece of information they gave us went second or after the mathematical operation. Um, if this is your second time watching the video and you are ready for your practice questions, here they are. Um, you have three of them today. You have eight more than a number is 12. Seven subtracted from a number that says subtracted. Sorry, my handwriting's a little messy there. And then the third one says a number is a product of five and two and increased by three. So this has multiple operations involved with it. And if you want, you can use parentheses to indicate this first part, a product of five and two. So you could put that in parentheses and then show how you're going to increase by three. What kind of operation will you have to do to increase by three? Just a suggestion. You could check your answers in the table of contents. And as always, please feel free to ask questions of your teacher if you need help. Have a great day.